<laughs> it's all downhill after that opening. You can't top that. That's just the biggest thing you can do in show business is go, ha, ha! And then have nothing after that. What if I did that after every joke I told on the show? I just told the joke, and I was like, yeah, I'm more like President Bush. <laughs> You're applauding that, but that would be horrible. <laughs> that would be the worst thing I could ever do. Yeah. Welcome to the show. We have an excellent show tonight. Everybody enjoying uh, 2003 so far? <laughs> okay. Wow, that's great. A lot going on. Yesterday in the Bronx, this is, I guess, a ceremony, uh, Mayor Bloomberg visited the first baby of 2003 born in New York City. Isn't that nice? He visited. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, you can tell the baby's from the Bronx because his first words were, forget about it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> of course, everybody wondering about Iraq. Just pretend you are. Uh, people are like, I don't, know, I don't care about Iraq. This is the latest. Some Democrats say the estimated $60 billion cost of a war with Iraq could be better spent at home. That's what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, and when he heard that, President Bush agreed and announced plans to bomb Ohio. <laughs> yeah, said. So, lay waste to it. Football fans, big news. Former Jets and Giants coach Bill Parcells has agreed to come out of retirement and coach the Dallas Cowboys. That's what he said. Yeah. Okay, that sounds like you're booing me, and I can't have that. Why should this be like any other night? No, he's coming out of retirement. Yeah, when asked what brought him out of retirement, Parcell said he was tired of sitting at home and pouring Gatorade on his own head. It's very sad. Then I gotta mention this. The, uh, the other night, Ozzy Osbourne and his wife Sharon renewed their wedding vows in a private ceremony, and the village people played at their wedding reception. <laughs> That's true. That's right, yeah, the lead singer, the village people said, you know, it was nice for once to be the normal people at the party. <laughs> That's what they said. It was nice just to have a little change. <laughs> I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go like that and then pretend to get shot. That's gonna be my one-two punch. Okay. Big what's that? Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Big support over here from <laughs> that. Okay. You do that, little funny man. <laughs> Tell your little jokes. All right, we have a, uh, it's gonna be a great show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watched it on tape already. It's excellent. <laughs> it's true. I can do that now. I have a time machine. I watched it on tape. It's great. It's terrific. I don't know why I end up naked at the end, but we'll find out. <laughs> Terrific guest tonight. You know him from uh, movies like Goodfellas, which is one of my favorite movies of all time, Something Wild, Blow. Uh, now you can see him in the brand new movie, Narc, Ray Liotta. Is on the show. He's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. I think I can take him. We also have... Everybody uh, loves this movie, a movie called Secretary Maggie Gyllenhaal is on the show. and coming star. And then musical guest tonight, Burning Bride's gonna perform for you. Oh, yeah. Huh? Good show. Good show? Yes, it is. Yeah. Now you're behind the show. Right, right over here, the insincere Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg. <laughs> <laughs>